Hello and thanks for tuning in. My name is Kevin. I am one of the product specialists here at Pluggable. Today we're going to be talking about our USB 3.0 transfer cable. We will cover the following topics. What the transfer cable is and why you'd need it. Contents of the package. Then we'll go over setup and installation instructions. And then finally we'll perform some transfers. We have here an older laptop and our newer laptop here, but we'd like to transfer the content from this machine to this one, and that's where our USB 3.0 transfer cable comes in handy. The transfer cable will allow you to transfer files such as documents, music, pictures, and other data. Now, as far as installed programs, you will need to have the original installation files and or disks to install the programs onto your new computer. Now, I'd like to mention that we also have a USB 2.0 transfer cable available. Now, all of the instructions that you will see in today's video also apply to that USB 2.0 version. The main difference that you will see with the 2.0 version is a slightly slower transfer rate. The transfer cable is compatible with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. I do want to mention something that's very important. You cannot perform transfers if your computer is in a non-operational state. So that means safe mode or any other state in which you cannot normally access your computer. If your computer is in that kind of a state, we would highly suggest trying to find a local and trusted technician who can help you diagnose and hopefully resolve your problems. Okay, now let's take a look at what comes in the package. A installation CD, a comment card, a quick start guide, and the transfer cable itself with your included product key. Now, everything that you see here is included in this package. There's no additional purchase necessary and you have unlimited use with this transfer cable. Now that we have everything unpacked here, we need to get the software installed onto both computers in order to establish the connection and perform our transfers. Now this computer has a disk drive, so I'm going to use the included disk. But we also have a download available for installation, which we'll use with this newer computer, which does not have a disk drive. So let's go ahead and get this open. It's a little tiny CD, but don't worry, it'll fit in your computer pop that in and now we'll get the software installed on this machine. Okay, so now we have our old computer here and we have inserted the disk. I've opened up a Windows Explorer window and now we're gonna go down to our DVD drive here and select the disk and Easy Sync Setup is the application. You'll want to double click on that and it will take a moment to load. Okay, now you will see this screen here with the user account control asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You want to click yes. And now we are welcomed to the Easy Computer Sync Setup Wizard. This wizard will guide you through. Let's go ahead and click next to continue. Here we have the end user agreement. I would definitely suggest to please take time and go through this user agreement but I can also assure you that it does not affect your privacy in any way. Once you're done reviewing the agreement, go ahead and click I agree. Now we are going to choose the components and features of the EasySync that we want to install. The EasySync is ready to go. We also want a desktop shortcut for easy access and we want it to automatically check for updates. If you would like to deselect any of these items, please feel free to do so. Go ahead and click Next when you're done. Here is our installation path. If you would like to have it go somewhere else, click on the Browse button and then choose your destination from here. Let's go ahead and click Install. Okay, very quick installation. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. Now we have our Easy Computer Sync 
on our desktop and the application is opened. Now this copy is not registered. This is where our product key comes into hand. So what you wanna do is click on register it. Okay, now we are at the registration screen. So as I mentioned earlier, when unpacking the transfer cable and materials, it comes with the 16 digit alphanumeric product key that you'll want to enter here. That product key uses letters A through F only, and it uses the number zero, not the letter O. Now, once you enter the product key here, go ahead and click OK to go on to the next screen. OK, now that we've used our product key, we are at the welcome screen for the Easy Computer Sync. What I would suggest is to close out of the program and restart your computer to make sure that all of the installation process has been fully finalized. Okay, now that we have the software installed on our older computer using the included disk, we're going to download the installation software from our website for our new computer. And you can find that in the quick start guide. It's on our website as well. So you go to this link here on our website, which you can find in the information below for this video. And you can scroll down to where it says software and drivers and you click this link here to download the software installation file. Click on save file. And then here is your download and it's done. So let's close out of our Chrome browser and then go into our downloads folder. Now we have the software installed on both of our computers and we have restarted them. Now we're going to plug our cable in. You'll notice this little blue light has come on indicating that it is correctly connected. And we'll bring this around the front here to our second computer and get that plugged in. And now you see both lights are coming on. Now that we have the cable connected between both of our computers, let's go ahead and get the software started on each computer so that we can begin our transfer sequence. So we want to double click on the Easy Computer Sync program on our desktop here and click yes to allow it to make changes. Now here we want to click next to go on to the next screen. Now we need to make sure to start the software and set it up on both computers in order to perform transfers. So go ahead and click next. And now you see right here, it says it's waiting for connection. So what we want to do is go over to our other computer, double click on the easy computer sync software here, go ahead and click next. And then again, and then we see our connection is detected. Now that we have our connection set, let's talk about the different transfer modes, what they are and what they do. The first transfer mode that we have is our sync files mode. Now this will sync the files and folders between both computers to make them the same. So for example, let's say we have documents on our old computer and we have pictures on our new computer. If we use the sync files option, both the old computer and new computer will now have documents and pictures on them. The second mode that we have is our transfer data to new computer. This mode is handy for copying files from one computer to another. Now, please note that using all of these methods, the files are copied over to your new computer. They are not moved and they will not be affected or deleted from your original computer. The third mode that we have is our drag and drop mode. This one is very handy because it provides complete manual access to your files and folders in the same way that you would find in a normal Windows Explorer window. You simply drag your files that you want and then drop them into where you want them to go. The final mode that we have is the control other computer mode. 
Now this mode is very handy because it provides essentially a remote desktop connection between your computers, but through USB and not on a network. That's very handy if you do not have the ability to use a network. I want to transfer content from the old computer to our new computer. Let's go ahead and choose the option here to transfer data to a new computer. So we click on that and then we click which computer we have and this is our old computer which we are transferring data from. Our new computer is the one we are transferring data to. So we click this is our old computer and it begins to search for content that we want to transfer. So now we are going to select the items that we want to transfer. The transfer program automatically selects these commonly transferred locations and you can uncheck them if you would like to, but I would like to transfer all of this content so I am going to go ahead and click next. Now one thing you do want to keep in mind is that you cannot transfer programs which are installed on your computers. You still have to use the original disks or installation files to install those programs. Now as you can see, all those numbers and words flying by, all of these files are being transferred over to my new computer and you get this nice little conclusion here that says that it's finished and the transfer completed. It breaks down how many files were copied and the file size of all the data. So now you click exit out of the program and we can go over to our new computer. Okay, and as you can see, we have some of our transferred documents. We transfer it into our documents folder and also into our pictures folder. So one thing to keep in mind is that when you choose the folders on your old computer, that's where they will transfer to on your new computer. So if you choose to transfer from your documents folder on your old machine, it will transfer to the documents folder on your new computer. So if you pick pictures on your old computer to transfer, it will transfer them to the pictures folder on your new computer. And if you choose videos, it'll transfer to the videos folder on your new computer and so on. Okay, so now you have just performed your first transfer. Uh, we hope that this video was helpful. Please feel free to leave us a comment down below and you can always reach out to us directly at support at pluggable.com. Thank you. Have a great day.